This line was a show of defiance in the Belarusian capital, Minsk. People waited for hours to add their signatures to support an opposition candidate for president in a country where dissent has been suppressed for decades. Similar crowds have gathered across the country in recent days. This gathering on May the 31st was to support both the candidate, Svetlana Tsikhanouskaya, and her husband, popular blogger, Siarhei Tsikhanouski, who was detained days earlier. This amateur video shows Tsikhanouski's arrest. He had already been in and out of jail three times in a month. He apparently provoked the authorities by calling President Alexander Lukashenko a cockroach and encouraging supporters to come to rallies, holding slippers to swat him. Belarus's presidential election is scheduled for August, and opposition candidates now have a month to gather 100,000 signatures, enabling them to run. Western governments have said previous elections were not free or fair, and Sikhanouskaya made a statement, pointing out that her husband was the head of her campaign team. Буду расценивать это как нарушение моих конституционных прав и давление на претендентов кандидаты на должность президента Республики Беларусь. Сегодня в составе парадных This election comes amid unusual circumstances for President Lukashenko, seen here at a parade on May the 9th, celebrating victory in World War II. He held the parade in defiance of concerns about the coronavirus, which he has consistently dismissed, even as cases and deaths surge in his country's hospitals. Some observers suggest his handling of the COVID-19 crisis has strengthened his critics. At this rally on May the 24th, another senior opposition figure, Mikolai Statkevich, appeared in support of Tsikhanouskaya after the authorities banned him from running. Лукашенко хуже вируса. Он намеренно заражал людей. Он запретил людям дистанционную работу в государственных учреждениях. Он запретил студентам дистанционные занятия. Он запретил закрывать школы. Он загонял людей на парады. Studkevich was on his way to the Tsikhanouskaya rally on May the 31st when he was detained by security forces. He previously spent five years in prison for his political activities. Hundreds of other activists have been arrested in recent weeks, according to Human Rights Watch. But other opposition figures have not faced this kind of treatment. Valer Tsapkala is a former Belarusian ambassador to the United States, and Viktor Babarika is a banker and philanthropist. They're both collecting signatures to run, and some observers say they could draw strong support. Я на самом деле основную задачу вижу свою сделать экономически независимое государство. The Belarusian economy has been faltering, especially since Russia cut off oil supplies amid a diplomatic spat. In response, Lukashenko has reached out towards the West. In February, the Trump administration nominated a new US ambassador to Belarus. The post has been vacant for more than a decade. But the latest wave of detentions could clash with efforts to improve relations.